we've got our first trailer for the Crow remake. Let's do this. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. You feel like my person. <laughs> you feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. When someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. What you become. You know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what hell awaits you. <laughs> no, I do. How many people have you loved? I never be alone. Alrighty, real quick before I share my thoughts on it, go ahead and join me down below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about The Crow. Give me that point of reference. Have you seen the original version? What did you think about the original version? What were you expecting going in to this trailer? Obviously, there were a lot of people with a lot of opinions after they put out the initial image of Skarsgård as The Crow a few weeks back. Now we have the trailer where we can get the full perspective on what it looks like. As for me on this one, uh, the original Crow has never been one of those movies that uh, I have loved as much as I thought that I would. Um, I mean, I was a fan of Brandon Lee even before The Crow came out because he did a movie called Rapid Fire right before that that I really enjoyed and still really enjoy. Uh, and then any sort of gritty revenge story I enjoy. And the soundtrack for the original film is phenomenal. And I was, of course, the perfect age that that was just all the music that I loved at the time. And it's always been a movie that I've been enjoyed, but not on the same level as so many other people. And there's not really a reason for that. Just sometimes, for whatever reason, a movie that seems like it has everything that make, should make it for a film that you love, you just don't quite love it the way that everyone else seems to. That's my experience with the original Crow. And I think maybe for that reason, I don't I don't have as many emotions, feelings going into this new one to be as perhaps negative towards it as some other people. Um, I mean, I thought the the character design that they released, if you, you know, image that they put out with the look of the makeup, was pretty silly looking too. Um, and some of the things they went for, even in this trailer with the designs, I was like, I, I don't know why we're going. It feels like we're going for a different era's version of someone that's really hard edge. Uh, so I'm not quite what 
sure what they think they're doing. But as for the trailer itself, uh, I mean, it's a gritty, violent revenge story. I like gritty, violent revenge stories, so, um, I mean, as someone without deep connections to the original one, it looks fine to me. Uh, I'm not, I haven't paid too much attention to what other people have said on the internet. I just know that the going into this, many, many people were very skeptical, but I, I don't know. I saw lots of violent revenge, and this is a movie I'd be going into with lots of violent revenge. Obviously, they're trying to dig in more into the love relationship and the connection that the two people have, and then that he's driven by love, not hate. I don't know if that's what you need to to flesh out the crow. I've never read the comic, so I don't like. I don't really don't have much ties to it, so it's just a supernatural revenge story to me. As with that as just my point of reference and my expectations, uh, uh, the trailer did its job. And in particular, because the buzz had kind of been so bad the, the last month or so, I suppose the trailer made me a little bit more excited for it. But take that as you will. Let me know what you thought down below. And keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye.